Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I'm going to discuss about how to calculate the effective size in the regression analysis. When we do regression analysis, we get R square value. Using R square value, we can find the effective size. First, we will take one example and calculate R square using a SPSS software. Then we'll see the formula and find the effective size. This example uh, where we have sales is a dependent variable and years of job experience and years of education are independent variable. So let us see what is the R square value of these two independent variables on the dependent variable. For this analyze regression in this linear. Let us take sales as a dependent variable and these two as independent variable job experience years of job experience and years of education and click ok now here directly we'll see the r square value okay the r square value is 0 0.583 now using this r square value we'll see how to calculate the effective size in this equation you can see cohen's f formula is used the Cohen's F formula here, the square root of R square divided by 1 minus R square. Now R square is also called as coefficient of determination. It is a percent of the variance in the dependent variable that can be explained by the independent variable. In the equation, just now in the analysis, we have seen R square value 0 0.583. So 1 minus R square is equal to 0 0.417. So Cohen's F value, if we calculate, square of 0 0.583 by 0 0.417 is 1.182. Now, if Cohen's value is 1.182, now we can see the effective size. If this value is 0 0.01, it is small effect. Okay more than 0 0.25 it is a medium effect size and if it is more than 0 0.4 it is large effect size since the cohen's f value here is 1.182 the effect size is large means the two independent variables impact on the dependent variable is large effect because the cohen's f value is 1.182 I wish this video will be useful for your research. Please subscribe the channel, share and like the video. Thank you.